BBC's claim that British Army killed unarmed and detained people in Afghanistan. An investigation by the British broadcaster BBC claimed that more than 50 unarmed and detained people were killed by British troops in Afghanistan in 2010. According to the news in the BBC, the Panorama program of the broadcasting institution examined the military documents regarding the operations of the British Army Special Air Force SAS and stated that the SAS fleet included numerous kill and capture raids in Helmand in November 2011. Suggested. According to the allegations in the episode that will air today, some people who served in the SAS fleet spoke to the Panorama program and said that they witnessed SAS forces killing unarmed people in night raids. To justify the killing of an unarmed person, AK-47 infantry rifles, Kalashnikovs, were placed at the scene, and some within the special forces competed to kill the most people, according to veterans' accounts. The BBC's investigation suggested that internal emails show that top special forces officers were aware of concerns about possible unlawful killings but did not report these suspicions to military police despite legal mandate. The investigation alleged that a unit may have illegally killed 54 unarmed and detained persons during a six-month mission. On the other hand, it is claimed that Mark Carlton Smith, a former UK chief of staff and former head of the SAS, was informed of the alleged illegal killings but did not pass the evidence to the RMP even after the Royal Military Police, RMP, launched a murder investigation against the SAS fleet. Was exiled.